All right. So, hey, welcome, Aaron. Welcome. So we've done uh, this hello, before. I guess. <laughs> yeah. We've, uh, something, something we've done before, they got some pretty mixed commentary, but it was fun, I think, was to just sort of barge into some, some lower Q games. And I mean, lower like 10 Q, like not that low, quite honestly. And just sort of, sort of comment and slash bet on who we think the winner's going to be. Uh, some of you found this disrespectful in the past. Uh, I don't care. It was fun. So, <laughs> and so many of you seem to enjoy it. All right. What do you think of this right hand side for, uh, for black? He's playing very fast, but it's all on one side. Oh, check this out. So. We have a three space extension to a three space extension to a three space extension. And ten and ten. Again. <laughs> That's amazing. This is a new, never seen before go strategy. Oh man. Uh, and they're playing so fast. This is like a 30 minute game, right? Yeah. Alright, so who so for your your first first round of betting here, who who's your favorite? Black. Really? <laughs> Sure. All right. I guess I'll take white. Okay. Sounds good. So here, I'm going to root for white. Uh, yeah, remember, white does not get Comey. Oh, you're right. It's nine, nine versus ten, huh? Okay. Uh, but this shape this shape is very weird. Like, I don't think white knows how to punish any of this, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, it's got a mix between a Chinese and I don't know what, what to call it. I, I don't even know. I don't even know. This is a strange. Oh, it does a submarine, though. Probably too early to play submarine kind of move, but sure. All right. Okay. So white's just going to settle, it looks like. That's a weird move for black. <laughs> white should just Hane or, or jump on the other side of it. H3. H3 looks like a nice point. That's what I was eyeballing. This, uh, this K6 move is pretty empty. No, oh, Tengen's empty, too. Yeah, but yeah, I still, but I don't know. One out of ten games, find someone that plays it. Well, no, I mean it's not bad. It's just, uh, um, I'm saying I'm saying that K six is extra empty because he also has Tengen. Great. Also, I played Andrew Jackson and Go this week, and he played Tengen on me. But and was I he lost. black or white? He was black. Okay. But I was also playing Mirror Go, and so that's when he broke it. Yeah, that's, uh, I actually played a game of Mirago recently. You did? Yep. Online? Yeah, uh, I was with one of my viewers, actually. Oh, yeah? Uh, we were doing this, it was, it was, it was a game of chicken, because I was white. I knew that he could play 10 get at any time and break the mirror. So it was, mm -hmm. okay, how far do you want to go, or how far should I go before I know when he plays that I'm going to be screwed? Right. And so I ended up breaking it at about move 20 before I... Hmm. Or, uh, yeah. That's funny. Oh, White, you let me down. Like, this move's still okay, but... Oh, my gosh. Black just does not... Black is just hyperactive. Black does not want to play in the same area twice in a row ever. Three spins, little pincer. Okay, White, what are you going to do? I think, I think White should just be fine to jump in the corner. Although Black is so thin, like... Black, white, I would, I mean, white could just tanuki, quite honestly, and go make one of these more severe points a thing. Yeah, I'd be looking at the enclosure, or even uh, what is that? G seventeen, put a little pressure on that black G17, stone. G uh, seventeen, yeah, you could do that. You could do that. Um, but I don't know. It feels like this lower right hand corner needs to be ripped to shreds a little bit more. It's actually kind of hard. Oh, wow. Ooh. White is jumping into the pincer. Oh, my gosh. And yeah, black is blocking. Like three right. crows? Are we going to see a three crows? Oh, yes, oh we, we are. are. Nice. Called it. But are we going to see black follow up with the P15? Nope. <laughs> He's going to defend first. Strange. All right. Well, now I like, uh, I like we just say G17. I like G17 a lot. Um, but again, I still really want to play in this right-hand corner. R6 is calling my name or something. The normal the normal Joseki before white has Q2, or O2, that is, uh, is to actually attach at Q5. Is the yep. normal thing to do. But since, since white already has O2 and black already has R8, I think that's wrong. 
Armpit a hit. A shoulder hit. Yeah, armpit hit of the corner. That makes a force base extension. Have these people seen none of my videos? Is that possible? Wow. Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, okay. So, Black decided that E17 and C17 should be cut for some reason. Okay, Jeez. and then we're going to shoulder hit that. <laughs> this is no, no, slow down, guys. Just take your time. You can do it. Come on, you're like 9Q. You're respectable. Oh, don't respond to that. Mm. It's not big enough. All right, white, white actually pushes through, though. But now it's a little on the late side. Oh, I see white's just going to... Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is acceptable. Oh, that's a terrible that's move for black. That's not good. No, cut. E18, just cut. Cut. Cut right now. Or let him fix. Okay. Okay, now make an enclosure. Actually, this is fine, too. You actually don't need to cut. This is... Okay. But you'd have gotten so much more free stuff if you just cut. You get the entire wall on the outside. Um, all right. No, no, no. P4 was bad. That was a thank you move. That, that, you had, no, no. Don't you dare play Q5. White's going to play Q5. Nope, White's going monkey to jump. monkey jump. End game time. Oh, uh, I was, I was, I was optimistic. I did, I did review a 20Q game online pretty recently, which was kind of I entertaining. I assumed for some reason this would make me a lot less frustrated. But apparently they are um, blitzing. Yeah. Mm, that, that shouldn't have worked. <laughs> Black should just have thrown in, right, to Suji at T12. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, no, that doesn't work. doesn't work. Sorry, sorry. No Tsuji. You have to block first. Now there's a Tsuji, though. So white could lose those three stones later. All right, but now this cut totally doesn't do anything. Um, cut, no good. What? What? Wait, what? Why did black descend? <laughs> Why didn't black cut? Oh, my gosh. Um, this is crazy. Um, what should white play here? Should white just descend? T5? White is going to go after that one stone. Why? Don't, don't, don't connect. Don't connect. Well, black doesn't actually have two eyes there now. <laughs> Alright, now white just descend. Play T5. You got what you wanted. Just T5, man. Come on, white. T... No! Oh... Oh, we can still T5. Just give up T5 right now. Just T5 right now. It's great. Trust me. T5 is amazing. You'll love it. You kill all of this. It's white. He's going to connect, isn't he? He's still going to connect. Oh, but he's taking... Actually, he's taking a long time in this move. That's a good sign, right? Yeah. I think he's trying to figure out how to kill the corner. That'd be good. That'd be good. Um, yeah, and it's too bad. Actually, yeah, after this, white. even if white connects at T8, right, those stones are still dead, assuming that black can find T12. What do you think white's going to do? What's your bet? I, I'm guessing White's going to descend and then do a monkey jump into the corner. That would be fine with me. I'd be happy for White then. That would be good enough. Oh, White. Oh, maybe White found sees actual... Sees the problem. Sees the problem, yeah. Uh, but this is still completely wrong because we're trying to save three stones instead of killing a corner. Yep. Oh, man. Uh, all right, we can still T5 here. I think T5 is still correct. But white is now attached to those stones. 
Maybe White thinks he's actually going to kill the entire thing. Like, let the corner link up to the side and then kill all of it. Which is not possible. Hmm, I wonder oh, if... Oh, actually, no, no, it... it uh, no, it's really not... It's, it's, just... it's not possible unless Black does some really dumb things. Which I guess that means it's possible, right? Come on, T5. Just T5. That's all I want for Christmas this year is T5. I can paint it red and green. That's a Christmas color. Oh. Oh, what? That's why he was taking so long? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, no, that, no. This move just dies. This should just die. I think black can just shoulder hit and is completely fine. Or this also works well enough, although white gets some compensation on the outside. Okay, can we T5 now? Just give up, no, no, get, no. That's T5. Uh, okay. This is not a good idea, White. <laughs> this was a really... Like, that area was completely fine. And now, all of a sudden, you've made it all black. <laughs> or at least not white. Or not white. No, before... Well, before, I would say, like, white could reduce it. And now it's becoming a black stronghold rather quickly. Yeah. Hmm. All right. So we're at move 80. How many moves do you think it's going to be before T5 is placed on the board? I'm going to go with 100. You want the over or the under? Oh, I want the over. The over? All right, so move 180. 181. So they're, they're going to play at least 20 moves over here for fighting. All right, so it, we'll, we'll have to check back and move 181 and see if T5 has been played yet. We'll keep that Did in you mind. say 120? No, I said 100 moves. Do you, oh, I in said, 100 moves? I said, yeah, so we're at move 80. And I said... 100 moves. Do you think? Oh, play? Yeah, okay. Still want Sorry, I thought you said at move. I thought you said at no, move. No, no, no. So, so I'm, okay, then I'm guessing under. I'm guessing about 120 or 130. They're going to go back okay. and play that. Yeah, you're probably right. 100, 100 say, moves well, is a it, lot. Yeah. But this fight over here could degenerate pretty quickly. Black is now committed to those three stones. Although you could just count. Uh, this. Fine. Actually, white can kill the corner now. The corner is dead. Good job. C eighteen totally works now. Oh, he found it. Nice. Go white. You're my hero. White will win the corner. Now we just have to rely on black for not. Okay, that's fine. GG uh, man. It's not GG. It's not GG at all, man. Black can still play T5 and just live everywhere, except in the, the top left corner. Uh, move around F14 is really big. F14 for white or G13 for black. Right, this... Oh, black got it. Wow. There you go. I actually set a move, and they played it on the very next move. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. All right, so now that black has this, this whole white group... Uh, the one that's like around 014 is completely not alive. So place your bets, Aaron. Is that group going to live? The giant... Yes. yes. <laughs> yep. Life finds a way. My guess is White is going to kill that group on the side somehow. And White's <laughs> going to live. I see. That'd be pretty impressive, actually. Up until Black captures... T8. Uh, oh, white's going to save those three stones for some reason. Oh, I guess, oh, right. They're, no, they're not, they're not even that important, actually. Oh, but black got an L15. The death of O14 is just beginning. O14 group. Black's coming after you. Uh, I think black, black should probably play like O12 pretty soon, too. Um, white's trying to crawl back home. Okay, this is promising for black to kill. Again, I want white to win, right? I want white to win. Yeah. So I don't want white to die here. So white, you should just give up those two stones. 
That's what I feel. No, wait. Save those two stones. <laughs> Actually, they are. you could get an either, so they are worth something. Well, that's why I wouldn't have saved those three in the first place. But right, that was, that was a little or strange. To save. Actually, white. If white gets another move here... No, white's going to save him. Great. <laughs> Black's going to take this peep. Okay. If white gets really strong, though, if black just ends up making white stronger, Tengen is in, daber, is in danger. Mm -hmm. Oh, white, you didn't need to respond to that. That was a nothing move. You could have continued doing surrounding attack middle things. Like T5, please, for the love of God. This is not a very important fight. And notice that the lower left corner still is open. That three four has not been the approached. three four is still the, the has not been there's no approach move yet and there's still that connecting move at h three which is a lot smaller now that white in theory can kill the corner at any time using t five but still worth something. Um, actually, white can just Hane here at b fourteen, and like there's nothing black can really do to disrupt the connection. Like white is still connected if white wants to be. Oh, white can do this. This looks fine, too. This looks fine. I guess this is probably better. It's still a connection. Ugly shape, though. Mm -hmm. Extend in D12, and then what does white do next? Oh, white will just play B12 for sure. 100%. That was like, that's a 9Q move if I ever saw one. Okay. Okay. That's something. Uh, that's not really a thing. All right, can we just play T5? We are coming up on a move 120. So we are, let's see, what would be halfway? Halfway would be... Um, we were at 80, so it would be 125. So we are eight moves to the... No, that, that wouldn't be right. No, why can't I do math? 50 moves would be halfway to 100, right? So 130. So we're 12 moves away from the halfway point to finding out whether or not white will play T5 within time for the side bet. This is high-go drama right here. So what just happened? No one um, got anything. I am guessing then that white doesn't think he can kill the corner. At T5? Uh-huh. Yeah, but he should. I'm more concerned about, like, what's going on with, like, a bunch of these Dame Ooh. moves. I don't know about that one. This move... No, no, F... F you mean F8? Yeah. F8, F8's really weak, but if he's going to come and kill this giant black dragon at J4... Yep. You kind of need a move like it. So... Hey, if white's going to go for a really big kill, I'm all for it. Like, this dragon should not die. Do not play the triangle. It's not that big. Well, d4 just fixes everything. Uh, yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Don't oh, play the triangle. The obvious block. Right. The tri I mean, the triangle works, too. It's just not very good shape. Technically, it works. All right, don't, you don't have to respond to this. Don't have to do it. Although actually it's big. Actually the response is big. Because black will black also has a B14 sacrifice follow-up kind of thing. Uh white, you don't need you, that was a bad move, white. Now that you really would have liked to have that liberty, it turns out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that liberty on the, the D6 group was useful. Um Yeah. That's weird. That was just a free move. That's weird. Um, <laughs> and, uh, does it actually start Co? <laughs> yeah, this... <laughs> so A8 threatens Co, right? Uh, okay. So we're not in danger of like anything happening ever, right? Now we can go play somewhere else? Yep. Neat. We T5. 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 All right. Uh, let's see. Move 143. 37 moves left. 
before someone plays T5. If if it gets 180, that is that is my bet is that white does not know a white can kill a corner. Or is not confident that they can kill a corner. Well, that's pretty reasonable. But still. Um, All right, but now, but now this is this might be some action if White can find. I think this peep at H five works, right? Looks like it works. Let's peep H five, man. Why? Why do we care about? <laughs> no. All right, last yeah. two moves were terrible. H five. Let's do something real. This is Dame. They're still they. Here's the thing about these nine cues. They're fighting a lot of time over, like, Dame points. I don't understand. I, I kindly thank my opponent when they do this. Yeah? When they, when they respond to your dumb moves? With dumber moves? No, w yeah. <laughs> no, no, when, when, they, when they play moves like this in the middle of territory, that's kind of, there, there's no points, really. Right, right. And that's like, all right, you can have that one point. And I mean, great. That's a really hard thing not to do when you're when you're a Q player, though, right? I mean, you oh, see, yeah, this, you yeah. see this big giant space, and you're like, I, I need to have a stone there. Even though that space might be worth nothing for everybody, you still think, I need a stone there. Didn't he just give him points now? Uh, nope, because he's going to let him connect. <laughs> okay. But you should still, like, not play there go play t5 go play the t5 t5 or bust run move 149 31 moves to go and you thought it was going to happen within like 20 to 30 moves right now your yeah. initial because i thought they would do a little bit of attacking and then go oh, okay oh i can kill the corner and then go back but <sighs> That's a problem, Aaron. You see, now that you're you're playing at like six Q on KGS, mm -hmm. you've graduated from the nine Qs, and <laughs> you just don't think like them anymore. That that is a strange realization, though, isn't it? Um, yeah. That I will never be a double digit Q again. Those those mistakes just are written yeah, yeah. off, and well, that's cool. That's awesome. That's a that's a really cool thing. Like, like, even if, like, for you, even if you stop playing Go for 10 years for whatever reason, mm -hmm. you'd come back and you'd still probably be at least a down level player. Yeah, probably. Just because like of I, your I, prior yeah, knowledge. Yeah, yeah, I have that level of confidence. And even even if I'm not, I'm, I probably within, I play 10 games and a lot right. of it will come back for sure. No, oh. no. Outside, oh my God, it happened. 71 moves. 71 moves. You win. The side bet here that's too bad that's too bad yeah q players also like monkey jumps a little bit too much there's the monkey jump itis well because it's such a cool move oh well, absolutely it has a name right how can it not yeah. be wrong ever uh, and then the one space jump isn't as fun right uh i really want to see h5 that's all I really wanted. All right, but now, actually, white has a potential problem. I guess white has enough high space now. Never mind. Unless he does something stupid. There is this white dragon group at the bottom. The L2 group. It, it should live without problem, but... It could, it could happen in a Q game like this. All right, that's another release. Oh, no, black got to play... G6 before white got H5 in. That might be too late. That's definitely too late because black's going to respond to this. Oh, but that's not a move. Uh, white should peep K8 right now. K8. I'm calling you on it. Okay. That's just helping black. We can still do K8. It's not as good. There you go. Yeah, but this was this would have been so much better without the G7 exchange. Like, that mm -hmm. was just a free eye for black. Like, just completely free. Uh, is black, black is not guaranteed two eyes, right? Nope. So, we're still good. We're still good. 
We could still Just kill this white. Um, that's okay. It's okay. We're still okay. This, now that's, black's connected. Oh, no, no, black's not connected. You can cut through this. You can cut this. It's hard. You have to play N8 right now. This one. Totally works. Are you coloring it in red? Yes. Nope. Letting Aww. him connect. Aww. Uh, so sad now. Black's turn to monkey jump. <laughs> Uh, no, black's actually, why? Because now white can't save those stones? No, white can still save them. This actually doesn't kill them. Oh, you're right, sorry, T14, yep, yep. Yeah, it doesn't actually kill anything. Uh, actually, the black group in the corner, I've been kind of ignoring, but that looks like it's actually in pretty severe danger. In the top right? This whole thing is not that strong. And actually, I think white can even play a monkey jump. <laughs> oh, that might not kill it completely. Uh, maybe it is harder to kill. It's hard to kill. If black doesn't have oh, the 3-3, three, black, three, black then black yeah, i Oh, if black doesn't have a 3-3, three, three, it's dead, right? There's yeah. no question. All right, so that will live. That will live. No problem. So what do we got for a score here? White has... Uh, okay. Maybe 30 plus Comey. Let's say about 40. We'll round up to 40. Uh, black has... Somehow black has less than that? This, how is this the lowest scoring game ever? Because well, black really doesn't have any points. It, well... Neither, neither one of them have points, is the thing. White has the left side and the lower left corner. Black has, like, nothing. Yeah. I'm amazed. I'm actually amazed at how little black has at the end of this. It's really weird to watch, like, a whole Go game where no one takes any points. Oh, that was a big move. All right. I'm, I'm going to call white as the winner for sure here at this point. I believe you're right. I don't see how black can do this. All right, let's find a way for black. What can black do? It's because he, he's only got a few points over here. That's a few. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's as you said, he just didn't really take any points. This game was weird. <laughs> they played so many Dame. All right, that's a pretty reasonable move for Black, given the situation. I mean, he still can't quite kill that group. But you can play M4 and make White respond. It's really too bad that M3 is, a, is an overplay now that White has M6, though. Mm-hmm. Um, but here, play M4. Play M4 is good. So black only has actually three groups on this entire board, right? There's only three groups here for black. Uh, one big one, and yep, three. A corner, two big ones. Hmm. Actually, but black they're pretty much... I was just going to say, they're pretty much just a string of stones. They're not really boxes or anything. There's no there's no semblance of development. So these people should come to my Go class at the Seattle Go Center. You should post a link. <laughs> yeah, come to class. It's Monday, 6.30. Oh, I meant just your YouTube channel. Oh, you could do that too, but they should come to my class. That looks like White got it. Oh, okay. Actually, there's I I didn't um, yeah actually what I was gonna say um, black kind of needs a connection here. Oh, this doesn't actually technically correct or a connect right. Um, white I think white could have played at K seven and then cut. Yep. I didn't quite read it out all the way, but it looks like those two black stones should have, should have died. Yeah, that doesn't do anything either. 
Uh, we can use the KGS scoring app to say that it says Black's up by 53. I don't believe that. This is why Tijum is so much better than KGS sometimes, because this is not working for Oh, me. yeah, because it's saying that whole weight group is dead, which... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, which is not. Um, White will actually end up with a couple points there in the middle. See, this is actually going to be a pretty big win for White. Mm -hmm. Pretty sizable. Oh, right, there's no Comey. There's no, there is no Comey, though. So it'll be a medium, medium-sized win. Uh, that's just an overplay, right? <laughs> oh, White doesn't think so. Totally not okay. Hey, oh, yeah, Black got a big point. Uh, this is just not exciting without, like, things that are killable. <laughs> this, is, this is just watching two people play endgame moves that are wrong. Like, it's really fun when people are playing, like, when there's a group that could die on the table and they're playing wrong moves, but... Becoming less fun. Alright, I just want them to finish the game. Crazy things can happen, though. Oh, you know what the craziest thing that could happen is? What's that? If white plays R19 and black doesn't know how to respond to it... I was eyeballing that before, yeah. I mean, black's totally fine there, right? There's no problem. But <laughs> black has to know things. Now would be a really good time to try. Actually, be even better if black shorts himself liberties and then white does it. Oh. Oh, yeah. black got in here. Why? Oh, white connected the wrong. Oh, wait. Oh, there was yep. an actual move here. What did I miss? Let me go back. This peep is this actually? This peep shouldn't have worked. White should have just connected at P14. Yep. But he didn't. So now, hey, black just caught up like eight points. Uh, maybe not quite eight points, like four points. And just like that, White's territory kind of got reduced to a string, too. <laughs> All right, I we think, call that we I think White should play, uh, play P16, get Black to connect, and then play R19, and then kill the whole corner. Because Black can't connect after the Atari, right? P P15 is basically dead. Although, actually, you might have to give up the two stones at the top. Never mind. It shouldn't die. But it can be tricked into <laughs> things. Uh, this is fine. Black will continue to poke, I predict. It's free stuff, man. That's right. That got reduced a lot. Big, big reduction. This is dangerous, but white is still fine. Hey, we have someone else watching this game with us. <laughs> There's another Don player in here. White A7. Uh, and then white F15. A7 doesn't do anything though, right? And what's F15, F15? Oh, that happened a long time ago, I guess. Well, was that I just didn't see that comment till now. Oh, uh, he gave up the stone. Oh, well, uh, um, yeah, I, he made the comment a long time ago, but nothing's really happened on the left side. All the moves since then have been in the upper right. Right. Well, F15 so, happened, you know. That already happened. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. That's not really... Um, okay, we're going to... Okay, I don't know what just happened. I missed it. So, um, somehow okay. Black didn't save that stone to take the extra point at the M9 point. Mm. So... Oh, what a score estimator is there? Still marking those stones as dead, huh? Is it still, it still thinks the bottom's dead? Yep. Great. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, actually, white, white, uh, yeah, okay, a five's good. That's fine. Well, the white does have to be careful because if you give black enough liberties here like that, uh, does that give black a better endgame move at like B14? Does that make B14 into something? I think it does. Oh my god. Uh, if black B14. No, not quite. Never mind. Because there's the other extension. I was looking at, uh, if black B14s and then white Hanes underneath and then black throws in. But that doesn't work because white just extends, so. Never mind. All right. Is this white, is this upper right-hand corner, does black know how to deal with it? I have to assume so, right? Because he's not freaking out about it. Um, I don't know why white played there. Uh, I don't know why black played there. Is this interesting? Is D2 interesting? D2 is very interesting. Oh my gosh. You're all on the D4 cut after that? Uh, or just come up. You can actually just press up D to uh, D3, right? Oh, sorry. You said D2. I was like, yes, but you, you start with, yep. start with yep. D2. Yep. I think D2 is good. I believe you are correct. And there's a chance for black. Oh, black got oh. it. Darn. Definitely nothing. So we'll never know if black knew what to do when white plays <laughs> R19. And if you're watching this video at home and you don't know what to do when, when white plays R19, there's your go problem for the week. How to turn that into two eyes in the corner. Because it is alive. Okay, a couple more points there. That's not really big enough. Why, why is white... Um, I think S2 is still worth two points. I think that move's still worth taking. Uh, that's... I guess that's actually a good move for black. This Q7 point is actually worth at least two points. Oh, more than two points, because white responded. Okay. All right, black got black R2. Got. Black is actually having a pretty good endgame here. Black got a lot of these points. That was weird. Um. That was kind of weird. Oh, uh-oh. Is black going to play the uh, T2 or T3 kind of move? Actually, T2 is better. Okay. Could have seen a dumpling die. All right. <laughs> we can we can assume that score estimator now knows what's going on, right? I think so. I hope. So it says white yep. up by 23. But there's still D2. Still so D2. What are the odds? What are the odds? Um, and black, black A11 is pretty good too. So here, let's highlight some big points. So we got a point there. We got a really big point here that neither player sees. That's a point. Um, this is a little point. This is a little point. That, was that a, was that a point? Nothing. That was like not no. a point at all, right? Um, the B, is it, uh, tr -tr -tr possible? Yeah, so this is actually a pretty big point, C19. This is a big point now, too. I guess that, they just turned that into a point. That's a point. There's a point. But this area, this D2 slash D4, E4 area, that's where it's at. 
So, why are they still playing all these other moves when D2's there? Oh gosh, all right, this really makes D2 work now. <laughs> oh my god, white is now short of liberties on the stick. Oh my gosh, they're, they're in the right area. Black, Come white's on, gonna black. take that one. All right, D2. Come on, black, don't respond. Go for the peep. You can still win this. Oh. I mean, as long as white doesn't play there either, it's still on the table. It just gets more exciting the longer it sits there. Okay, you have Sente, now go. Oh wow, go. black can do it. No! no! No, that was wrong. <laughs> that was so wrong. Uh, does it transpose at all? It Wait, does just... kind of transpose if white plays d4. White's actually thinking really hard. But it is a lot less good think if, if you play it this way d2 <laughs> you couldn't resist yeah so maybe they'll look at it in review but you type that on a, on a white move white's gonna think you're telling white to play it oh he connected all right d2 still good d2 still works it's oh he found it he did it! He did it! I've been calling both of these guys he's, but isn't Satori, is that a female name? That sounds... Um, have you watched uh, Kill Bill? No. Oh, that's Hattori, not Satori. Never mind. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, it's, it's Hattori's Hanzo. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, so, the, so anyway, Black found D2. The only problem is now he ended up giving up uh, E4, because white can now capture E4. So you sort of lose a, an extra point if you do it this way. Uh, white did not choose to capture E4. <laughs> Actually, you would lose two points, right? Because of the capture and then the Atari. Yep. Uh, okay, so white white is losing a little bit of ground, but not 20 points worth. What do you got? Scores to All right. It's let's, 14 and a half. Let's just finish. Come on, guys. There's a point. Good. Man, there's still a lot of moves left, though. Uh -huh. Like, they're not worth anything, but they're going to they have to get played. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's still, like, over 15 moves left. That was actually a pretty big point for Black. So how do you feel about losing this bet? Assuming that nothing else happens, Aaron. How no skin feel? in the game, no motivation? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have to turn this into a drinking game if somehow viewers can play along with at home. With high stakes. Yeah. Some sort of drinking This is just tea. I was going to say, what's your whiskey of choice? <laughs> I don't really drink a lot of whiskey. Like, if I go, I'll go over, like, Andrew Jackson's house, and he'll give me some whiskey. But, and I had some at the Go Congress, because they were drinking, uh, they had a lot of whiskey, like, the final night. A bunch of different kinds of expensive scotch whiskeys. Uh, and I had some of that. But, I don't really remember what they were. So, yeah, I mean, I'll drink it, but I don't really, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a real liquor connoisseur. Oh, that was big. White might be having a personal freak out right now. <laughs> I go, what did I just do? And after about 15 seconds of that, I'll realize, wait, I'm fine, I just play A16. 
I think that's what's going on. Yep. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> or they already knew to play 16. They were using their time wisely for clock management. All right. Now do we have any moves left? There's, There's a, a point couple. at 07. According to Square Spinner, it's closed the gap down to five. Is it really? Uh-huh. That's amazing. Wow. Hmm. I guess I didn't look at the previous score estimator closely enough to see what else they were screwing up. But yeah, I mean, that, that white middle group around N12 went from like 10 points to three. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Black definitely made it back in the end game. Now, if there was only a reverse Comey, it would have been a game. Yeah, and Black did get D2, right? That's the other thing. That did happen. And White didn't... White was supposed to get two points back of compensation that White failed. So, yeah. It all adds up eventually. All right, you guys can pass now. Seriously... Just pass. We're good here. Real good. Oh, come on, there's the old one connection yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're going to play it, aren't they? <laughs> good call, man. <laughs> See, you're not that far beyond 9Q. <laughs> you know where it's at. There you go. Black pass. All right. Here we go. Is White going to do T1? All right. Oh, we got right. a game. Final score. They got to mark the top stones dead. Yep. Very good. Five and a half. Oh, my Three gosh. They missed half. a point, right? Oh, no. They're, they Never mind. Nope. I thought there was one more point on the board. Wow. Yeah, low scoring game, though. Look at that score. 43 and a half to 39. That is pretty low scoring. Oh, the square smear is still wrong because it's saying five and it a half. Says, no, it says four and a half. Well, the, the, right, end, right. the score was four and a half. Oh, but, oh yeah. right, right. So where was score estimator wrong? Yeah, all right. Well, good game. What do we learn? Did we learn anything from this? Uh, do not play on the Dame points between two territories. So yeah, there isn't I guess. There a whole lot there. Otherwise, I'll come into your KGS game and I'll yell at you when you're not looking. That's how this works, right? So yeah, they played so many Dami points here. I'm just going to scroll through quickly again. I'm not really going to do a review or anything. Oh, you know what? Um, the score is actually wrong because the they, wrong. Gave, uh, they gave T3 to Black when Black shouldn't have gotten that. Oh. Black oh, no, no, that's, no, that's what I was looking to at the end of the game. I was like, wait, there shouldn't be three points there. But, um, well, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, there, yeah there, should be, there should be two points there. You're right. Yeah. You're right. There so Black actually got one extra point. But anyway. Yeah, I, I thought that looked funny. Yeah, but okay, so I'm, I'm just going to, I'm not going to load this into a review or anything, but I'm just going to scroll through this very quickly. There's all this fighting that's happening on the right-hand side, and there's so much tanuking away from it, right? This corner should be, you need to do something with this corner. If you have a giant strong group here that doesn't have eyes, but it has a lot of liberties, you need to use it. A lot of shoulder hits, a lot of these really, like, non-severe invasions, but just, you know, <clears throat> sort of like pillow puff kind of moves. I'm just going to rub you. And hope you don't respond. Uh, That's a great term. There's this P4 was terrible. Uh, this whole monkey jump. monkey. If you're monkey jumping and it's move, what move do they monkey jump? The first monkey jump happened on... Why doesn't it tell me the move number anymore? Move... Uh, shoot, what move is this? I don't know. But that's what, maybe move... I can, I can 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, 21, 22... 25. It's like move. It's like move 51 is a or 52 is a monkey jump. That's wrong. You can't do that. <laughs> there's, there's no game where that's ever right. Yeah. This and leaving T5 there was so sad forever. Invading too deep and then trying to save three stones that are just in the middle of your opponent. Like these are just three stones. It's six points. Why do you care about those six points so much? They're not cutting anything. I think they're just points. Uh, and then they just play this whole giant Dame thing, which does set up an attack on the bottom black group, but they never take advantage of it. White just needed to play h5, put a little more pressure, and maybe something cool would happen. 
So anyway, hey, thank you for for doing this, Aaron. I hope yeah, it was, was fun. fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we'll leave it up to the YouTube commenters to decide whether or not we should be doing this ever again. <laughs> I, I think we're a lot uh, more lenient this time, a lot more constructive. I think. At least that's my take. I, on I felt kind of like a grumpy old man. <laughs> that, was, that was where I was most of the time. But yeah, so uh, there's our there's our heckling cue. I'm not sure if I want to call this the heckling cue video. I kind of want to call this something like the return of Epic Pen or Epic Pen Returns or something. I don't know. Were you were you as obnoxious this time? No, I really wasn't. I, I just I, I was very I was very subtle. I think they'll let me know in the comments. I suppose, but <laughs> I only scribbled out things like twice. Cool. So anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you later.